Right then, okay, question four. So there is a lot going on in this question. A few things that we need to consider. So let's have a quick read. The diagram shows a solid prism. We have a nice diagram here, which is not drawn accurately. Okay. Um, it's a trapeze. So the, the cross section, the cross section is referring to the front of the shape. This part here is a trapezium. Okay. So this is the parallel sides of the trapezium, which is important. The parallel sides are 8 and 12. You can see them up here, 8 and 12. Those two lines are parallel. Okie dokie. The height of the trapezium is six. They've been very kind to give us the height, which they've shown here is the height is six centimeters. And the length of the prism is 20. All right, so they've given us all the measurements of the, of the prism. What do we actually have to work out? They're also giving us the density. So this is telling me that this question is probably to do with, I've got density, I can probably work out the volume, and it's asking me to work out, calculate the mass of the prism. Give your answer in kilograms. Okay, so it's tricky, isn't it? Because we know it's density, volume, and mass, and I've got a, a nice way to remember the formula for density, volume, and mass. So density, you must think about this. I'm gonna change uh, the color of my pen, take the time to quickly change this. Don't wanna waste your time, I know you're busy people. So density, equals it sounds a bit weird at first but you must learn to love density okay really take the time to love density why am i saying this to you well if you were to put your little cupid's arrow through the heart all right there it is then it's going to give you the formula well, how do we work out density or how is it all linked together density is equal to Look at the top of the heart. This is like an M shape. So that's mass. This is our divide sign, the arrow, divided by, and the V is on the bottom. So density equals mass divided by volume. So that's great, but I'm not working out density. I want to know what the mass is. So if you uh, borrow this from the old scientists in the next department down, they like to put things into a little triangle, the formulas. You may have seen this one for speed, distance, and time, or soccer tower, things like that. Density equals mass over volume. So mass is dividing volume. It's been divided by volume. Mass is on the top. So mass goes in the top box. Volume would fill in one of the bottom ones, and density must go in the space that is left. All right? So now you can do anything. You can work out mass just by covering up the mass, and you get density times volume. You can work out volume by covering up volume. And it tells you to do mass over, sorry, mass divided by density. So that's a really useful thing because we have to use that at some point. But here's the problem. We don't actually have, we've got the density, that's five. But I don't actually have the volume. I, I need the volume to work out the mass, don't I? All right, so if I know the volume, I would know this one. And I've got the density, which is five. So I'd know that one. And then I could work out the mass just by multiplying density times volume. So let's go and work out the volume of our, of our shape. And I tried to think of a real life example of that shape. The nearest thing I can think of were gold bars. You know, if you're having trouble um, thinking about the weight of your gold bars, you know, it's a very common thing, isn't it? Especially after making these YouTube videos. Lots of gold bars coming in now. So volume is the area of the cross section, the area of the front of the shape, which we've been told is a trapezium, times by the length of, of the prism the length of your 3D shape, okay? What is the formula for the area then of a trapezium, the area of this front bit here? It's just like a rectangle. If you know a rectangle formula, length times width, everyone should know that one, length times width. The trapezium is just the same, all right? But then you're, you're saying to me, right, well, but it's got two different lengths. So how does that make sense? I've got the, the width, the width is six, the width can be six, but it's got two different lengths. How do I know which one to use? Well, the, the idea is that you find the average of the two lengths that you've got. Your two parallel sides, you work out the average. So you do 
To work out the average, to work out the mean, you add them up and divide by how many? So you do 8, that's one side, plus the other side, which is 12, and then divide it by 2 to get the average length of the two sides. So the average, if you do 8 plus 12, you get 20. Divide it by 2, you get 10. And that makes sense. It's in between 8 and 12 perfectly, isn't it? So the average length is 10. And then you can just use your rectangle. 10 times 6 is 60. So the volume, sorry, the area at the front of this first part is 60 centimetres squared. That's the area of the cross section, the, the trapezium. And then you need to times it by the length to get the volume. So the volume equals 60 times the length, which is 20. So the volume of our gold bar, the, the shape that we've got here, is 6 times 2 is 12, and then two zeros. You've got a calculator for these questions, so type that in, you get the volume. To work out the mass then, let's go back to our actual question. We've got the volume now, so we've got this part, we've got the density, great. Now we can work out the, the mass. So mass is equal to, if I cover up the mass, which I can't do on this board, you imagine I cover this up, it would leave me with the formula density times volume. Okay, so mass equals density, which is 5 from the question here. The volume we worked out to be 1,200. And then you will get a mass of uh, 5 times 12 is 60. Add on the zeros. You get 6,000. All right, 6,000 watt though. Look at your units. We know that these are centimetres. The density always combines the two units in the question. So centimetres was the, the unit for length and grams was the weight. So the mass is actually in grams. And we don't want it in grams, we want it in kilograms. So you should know one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. All right, so make sure you are aware of that. So the conversion rate is 1,000. We're timesing and dividing by 1,000. We're going to turn this into kilograms, which are, we should have much less kilograms than grams because there's 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So if we divide this by... 1,000, we will get our mass, which will just be 6 kilograms. All right, lots to do in that question. So, you know, make sure you revise uh, the formulas for area of a trapezium and also how to work out the volume of prisms by working out the area of the front times the length of the shape. Okay, and remember this density heart thing. All right, that, that will help that stick in your mind for the exam.